with Pastor Jordan. Hey Liz. Hey Saints kids, what's up? Pastor Jordan, thank you so much for joining us today Absolutely. on the very first day of November. But Liz, it's not just the first week of November. It's also the first week speaking on thankfulness. I wonder why. Hmm. Well, hmm. if you must ask, in November in America we celebrate Thanksgiving. Okay. And the thing about Thanksgiving, it's not just a month where we push ourselves to be thankful because we should always be thankful, but it is a month when we celebrate thankfulness. Hey, you know what I'm thankful for? What are you thankful for? I mean, I gotta start with my kids, my three gorgeous girls that look exactly like their daddy. Thankful for them. Uh, I'm thankful for apple pie. I'm thankful for pumpkin pie. I'm thankful for all the pies with ice cream dripping down and just down my face. I'm thankful for all of that. Ooh, that all sounds delicious. I, I'm thankful for my family too. I'm thankful for apple pie, pumpkin pie, cheese pie. Cheese pie, sure. Something Why not? Like cheese that? pie. I like um, it. Apple picking, pumpkin picking. Yeah. And of course, a nice ice chai. Ice. ice. No, not ice. Chai. No, not ice. Cold outside. Chai with like yeah. Pumpkin spice. Mm, I love that. Man, I could go on and on. Seriously, like I could go on and on. But what do you what do you say we show some of all that all this thankfulness? What if, what if we show some of that to God? Man, let's get right down to worship. Yes, and you know what? We're about to sing one of those songs that is like my favorite songs. But for that, I need all of you to stand up. Come on. I need you to stretch to the side. Oh, stretch. Stretch to the other side. Stretch. Clap. Pastor Jordan, why don't you cut this down? Absolutely ready. Let's go, Saints Kids. Three, two, one. You're indescribable in every way. You search me out, now I'm caught up in your craze. I heard my name across the ocean. Pull me closer, the current changed You show me life, a new horizon A silver lining, a brand new day And I might go, I can't find the words to say at all You're higher than all my ways, I love at you You open my eyes to see
one of my favorite songs. I love that song too. How's it go? Let me see. Hey. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I can't sing. But we love that song. We do. But to begin our month of thankfulness, we're going to remember how God always provides. Wait, wait, wait. Like even when like I'm grumpy face and I don't deserve it? Absolutely. You know how it is. Sometimes you're grumpy and people still bring you cake and tacos. I love when that happens. All that stuff. Exactly. Even though you shouldn't be grumpy. But no matter what, God always provides. That's and so true. God is exactly today's PowerPoint. Man, that's so good. And one of the best examples is the story of Moses in the desert. Now, I know that most of you have heard the story of Moses and the Ten Commandments many times. But listen, guys, as you listen to the story today, I want you to pay close attention to the many, 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 many times that God provided. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt, in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake uh -oh. and fled Egypt uh -oh. to live with the Midianites. Uh. But God called Moses back to Egypt. Ah to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. Ooh. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea and towards the Promised Land. They followed God who showed himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. As God led them through the wilderness, the Israelites became thirsty and hungry. Uh. They complained to Moses and Aaron uh. and said, if only we had died in Egypt. Uh. God said to Moses that he would provide for his people. Hey. Each morning they awoke and found manna for the day. Uh. What's that? And each night God gave them meat. The people were still thirsty, and they were mad at Moses, saying, Did you bring us out here to die of thirst? Yeah. So Moses cried out to God, and God told Moses to strike a rock, and water came flowing out of it for the people to drink. And so the Lord provided for his people's needs. After traveling in the desert for three months, they came to Mount Sinai and God called Moses from the top of the mountain. God spoke to Moses there of the future of his people and reminded him of the miracles of the past. After three days, there was thunder and lightning as a thick cloud covered the mountain. The people heard a loud trumpet blast. And Moses led people to the foot of the mountain to meet with God. God told them how his people were to live and how they were to honor him and respect each other. The Israelites had seen for themselves that God had spoken to Moses from heaven. These rules that God told them are called the Ten Commandments. And the Israelites feared God, for his mighty power had brought them out of slavery and provided for them in the desert. Man, I love this Bible story and how God provided. God not only provided freedom for his people, but he provided food, he provided water, he provided all that they needed because he always provides. Man, that's so good. You know, like I think about the times in my life uh, personally that God has provided, even like uh, guys, I know that you know that we run the Legacy Center right across the street, and just a couple of weeks ago, check this out, we're, we're feeding people, and there's, I mean, there's like a thousand people on the line. Like, the line just keeps going, going around the corner, around the corner, around the corner, around the corner. 
And we actually ran out of food to give people. And uh, I was sitting there with Carmen, who's one of the people that helps me. And we're like, what do we do? What do we do? We have no idea. We don't have enough food to feed all the people. We actually prayed. You know what's crazy? You don't even know this. Who's your husband? Simon, this good looking guy named Simon happens to call me up and he says, hey, Pastor Jordan, uh, we got some extra boxes over at our pantry. Do you guys need some? And we said, are you kidding me? Like we need everything you can get us. They got us not only what we needed to get all the people the food, there was even extra. And we helped out another pantry because they needed for their pantry to help their people. And I just love how God always works that out, like how he connects all the pieces and he doesn't just give you what you need, but he always gives you extra. Man, that is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that story. Absolutely. And of course, for shouting out Simon. Love you, Simon. I love you too. But I love, I love it. Sorry. <laughs> but anyways, I really do love how God always provides. And in this memory verse for this month, we're going to be talking about always being thankful. It says, in everything give thanks. So good. So are you ready to learn this verse? I am ready. He really is ready. Let's go. So let's go. for you too but it's important for us to be thankful for those provisions as well hey if you're struggling to be thankful for what you have man we just want to pray for you guys absolutely so if you want God to help you to be thankful and for God to provide for you I want you to put your hand on your heart close your eyes bow your heads and Pastor Jordan I'm going to ask you to pray and you guys repeat after him great ready come on repeat after me father God father God you are my father. You are my father. You are my provider. You're my provider. I thank you for everything I have. I thank you for everything I have. I thank you for everything you're working on for me. I thank you for everything you're working on for me. And I just pray. And I just pray. 
that you help me. That you help me. Always have a thankful heart. Always have a thankful heart. So that I would always say thank you to you. So that I would always say thankful to you. And always glorify your name. And always glorify your name. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. Everybody say amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Jordan. Thank you, Saints Kids, for being here with us. We love you. And we cannot wait to see you next week. Now remember, we have Zoom meets every Sunday at 10 a.m. Hey, if you have not registered yet, the link is in the description. So make sure that you go to the description. Make sure that you sign up, link up. We see you. We see you next week, Pastor Jordan. Thank you so much. You're Absolutely. Awesome. Uh, am I allowed to hang like every week with you guys? Sure. Yeah. We'll, we'll plug him in somehow. All right. Love you guys. Love you, Zayn's kids. Bye.